So this is my project I made for Launch Code's Immersive Code Camp, and it is called Allermy, and that is my name, Carolyn Peters, and my GitHub, cmpeter08 at gmail, or, and that is my GitHub, cmpeters08. So my project is an allergy comparison application, and it takes the ingredients for two different products. It can be lotion, sunscreen, or even food products. And it goes through and figures out what, if any, common ingredient is in both of those products. And it allows users to save any, save the ingredients to their profile, add it, ingredients they know they're allergic to, or delete ingredients. The features are the spring comparison method that I came up with for this project. Right now it just, uh, the string comparison method splits the string into an array and then iterates through both array lists to figure out what is in, uh, what they have in common. And the user, it's a CRUD project so the user can create, read, update, and delete their stored allergy triggers and the user can then, once they have some triggers saved, compare a new product to what is saved in their database to see if they would have a reaction to that new product. My planning was during Code Camp, I had a really bad allergic reaction to two different sunscreens. And I was going to just sit down and look through the ingredients, but I figured I could make an application for that. And I knew other people have this type of issue as well, so that's why I made Allergy. Uh, the I have two databases, a user table and a trigger table. The user table stores the usernames and hash passwords, and the trigger table stores all of the saved ingredients with the foreign key, connecting it to the user in a one-to-many relationship. Uh, the technologies I used were Java 8, Spring Boot, Timeleaf Template, MAMP as my... Uh, MAMP is my database as well as my servers, and then I used Bootstrap to give it a nice look. Right, demos. Okay, so we are going to just register a new user. We can let's make. We'll go with How I Met Your Mother. That's what I've been watching recently. We're going to register the new user. When you register as a new user, it takes you straight to the product comparison page. So we're going to go and take some products that I had allergic reactions to. And capitalization shouldn't matter since I dealt with that when doing my parsing. I made everything lowercase. Seems okay. Connecting. I'm trying again. Okay, it's kind of catching up now. Right. Okay, go ahead and minimize it, and then just start um, at the point right before you went to go copy the data. Is that okay? Okay. So, uh, when creating a new user or registering a new user, it'll take you straight to the product comparison uh, page. Whereas if you're logging in as a user, it'll just take you straight to your save triggers. So these are some things I know I'm allergic to and that I know have things in common. So that is a Shishida sunscreen and this is a Maybelline BB cream. So we are going to compare those and here's all of the ingredients they have in common. I'm just going to check all these and save them to a database since I'm not sure which one I'm actually allergic to. 
I'm going to save this to the database. But, oh, you know, I'm probably not allergic to water. So we're just going to remove that. And it's got a nice little, just a nice little thing that says, yep, you've removed water from your profile. Go back home. It's no longer there. We're going to check a new product. See, I've heard good things about this Cetaphil sunscreen. So we are going to see if I would have a reaction to that. It's got four ingredients that I've already said I'm probably allergic to or might be allergic to, which is probably the case since I did have a breakout to that sunscreen as well. So we are going to try something I'm not allergic to and shouldn't have anything in common. And that's this Clinique lotion, and I've marked it as safe. Hold on one second. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Tap it in. Yeah, go ahead and start where you go back to copy the clinic ingredients. Okay. So these, this product I know is safe. I haven't had a reaction to it. I use it every day. So we are going to see what that should look like. So it has glycerin in it, which since I know I haven't had reactions to the clinic product, I can go back home and we'll just remove glycerin from my profile. This. What I can also do is if I know I'm allergic to something, I can add it to my profile. So... I know that I'm allergic to rose, so we'll add that, and lavender's also not my friend, so I can add both of those to my database, and if I go back home, there they are. And then I can log out, and then when I log back in, it should take me right back to my Save Triggers page. Probably because it doesn't need that R in there. But yep, and it takes me right back to the saved allergic reaction triggers. So let's go back here. And so <coughs> the main thing I learned doing this was Bootstrap. That was the new technology I learned. But I, when doing this project, I did gain a better understanding of Java, and especially Java persistence, how data gets transferred and gets saved in the database, and how Java passes information and data around. I also got a better understanding of Spring Boot and Hibernate, and all of the fun things that go along with that, how like the annotations work, and how really Spring Boot does a lot of the persistence for you. I also learned a lot about the Time Leaf template engine, which is part of the Spring Boot and the practices of MVC or model view controller. That's a really important thing they learned and basically a really good way to structure Java projects. And I also used how to effectively use Stack Overflow since there's a lot of information out there, not all of it is good. Uh, learning how to quickly disseminate the good from the bad information is necessary. And then what's next? I would like to add a class where people can add their safe products. So when adding a new product, uh, they'll be able to quickly learn what is in that that they are allergic to or if they won't have a reaction. I sort of did that in my demo, but it'd be nice for it to do that automatically for me. I also need to <laughs> refactor the way that my application parses strings as a lot has changed in the past few months since I've made this project in the way uh, ingredients are, store are stored. And I think it's a FDA law now that I need to look at. I'm going to have to look at how my application parses data uh, or strings. I need to improve the UI. It looks all right, but I'd like to change a few things. And then eventually I would like to deploy this application possibly online or possibly as a mobile application using uh, perhaps React Native or a few other really neat languages. I might just do it for Android with Java. And that is my project. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was great.